All right, what's the longest that you've ever had a tree up in your house after Christmas? Usually for my family, it's around maybe New Year's uh, Eve or the day after New Year's. But one year, I'm ready to embarrass myself. I hope, I hope this makes you guys happy. When I was in high school, my mom and I went through a lot of life change that year. We moved around a lot, our family broke up. It was just her and I, and we had a Christmas tree that stayed up past January, February, March, all the way into April. It was spring break when we finally decided to take that thing down. And let me tell you, after like the mid-January, that thing is brown and mocking us every time we walked into the living room. It reminds me of what Paul said in Ephesians 4, where he talked about we have to take inventory of our life, look at the things that are our old self, because the longer they stick around, the worse it is for us. We have to get that stuff out and embrace a new life, a new transformed mind. And there was a part in my mom and I, whenever we would get home or whenever we would walk through the living room, we would see that thing and just feel so defeated because it was something we knew we were supposed to take care of. We just didn't feel like addressing it. And it was just overall making our attitudes start to sink down. What is something you feel like, maybe even in your own life, <laughs> a Christmas tree in your living room, or maybe something else that you know you, you need to take care of it. You know it's right there, but you keep putting it off. For me personally, let me tell you what the, the dead tree was in my life. I had an app on my phone that thanks to Apple's little thing they have that tells you how long you're actually spending on that app, it told me that I was spending an hour and a half a day on it, doing nothing, looking at news and stuff. And I thought, this, this is stealing from who the Stephen I want to be to my family. So I've, I said to myself, after debating for like a month or so, I ended up deleting it and getting rid of, rid of it out of my life. And man, I actually feel better now that it's not on my phone anymore. Let me ask you, it might be an app, it might be maybe something that God is asking you to do, like write a book, start a podcast, make something that you uh, might want to give to somebody else, whether it's cards or letters. What is it that God is calling you to do? Maybe even start an online small group. Whatever it is, let this year be the year that you kick that mess to the curb and start brand new and fresh and embrace what God has for you.